Hello, we have some good news for you. Canonical is happy to announce that Charm Cupfield 1.7 is available today for the general public. It's been released three weeks after the beta and brings a new series of enhancements for its users. On this note, I would like to thank everyone who tried our beta and shared with us their feedback. Before we even get started, let's do a recap on what Charm Cupflow is. It is Canonical's official distribution of the upstream project that has been started by Google a few years ago. Charm Cupflow is an end-to-end open source MLOps platform designed to take projects to production and enable enterprises to scale their AI initiatives. It can run on any cloud and it also supports hybrid and multi-cloud scenarios. Canonical's engineering team works closely with the upstream community. So Charm Cupflow follows the same roadmap and it's released at the same time for the second year in a row. It has the same capabilities and features. And what it brings new is the two, three weeks of beta where we ask our users for feedback. It is also a nice way to get a glance of what's coming next, right? Additionally, Charm Cupflow is the foundation of Canonical's growing open source MLOps ecosystem. It is integrated with a wide range of tools such as Prometheus or Grafana as part of Canonical observability stack or MLflow. When I think of this really, to Kubeflow's end users, focusing on capabilities that ease their work and helps them achieve better performances with their machine learning models. By adding KSERF and KNative on the default bundle, they benefit from the ability to run serverless machine learning workloads and perform model serving regardless of the framework that professionals use. After projects such as ChatGPT, Midjourney, or more recently GPT-4, everyone started exploring their AI options and companies are open to grow their budgets. McKenzie reported in the state of AI at the end of last year that it goes up to 5% of the digital budget. So having pro professionals that can motivate this kind of spending and quickly experiment and then deploy models is crucial. However, the biggest challenge when it comes to AI is actually to get started. And this release helps organizations to get up and running very quickly. Trump Qflow 1.7 expands its spectrum of open source frameworks and libraries and makes the model development and deployment processes easier with a new set of capabilities. It gives freedom for professionals to focus on the problem that they are trying to solve and use the machine learning libraries at their most convenient with less constraints. These new capabilities increase developer productivity and it reduces routine tasks, helping organizations lower the operational costs. It unburdens developers from explicitly describing the infrastructure underneath, which is also something that data scientists and machine learning engineers historically did not enjoy them a lot. However, the capabilities that Charmcuflow 1.7 puts out there for developers don't stop there. And since deep learning grew as a branch of machine learning and more and more use cases are ready to be explored, the MLOps platform grants access to a new framework, Paddle Paddle. It is an industrial platform with a rich set of features that help data scientists develop deep learning models. When I think of the history and how data science appeared, it actually started with R, a programming language for statistical computing and graphics. It really focuses on the statistical analysis of the data and it is widely used even today. Chancuflow includes supports for R so statisticians can smoothly venture into machine learning and also enterprises that have already been using R in production can now migrate their workloads into more advanced tooling. Chancuflow 1.7 is a release that helps professionals achieve their goals more easily. It leads to both faster experimentation and quicker deployment to production. Overall, it increases data scientists' productivity and it reduces their manual tasks. Cost-conscious organizations can also use it to decrease operational costs and see a faster return on investment from their AI projects. It might not seem obvious, but having a tool that is easy to use is essential for data scientists and machine learning professionals because by now it's widely known in the industry that actually they spend 80% of their time on activities that are not related to their main area of expertise, which is actually modeling. Open source MLOps platforms help organizations drive innovation. From retail to financial services, from telco to the public sector, everyone is looking these days for options to speed up digitalizations, reduce costs, or automate tasks. 
Projects such as self-organizing networks or market, market basket analysis are just some examples of the applications that can be driven using charmed kubeflow. It is not a constraint for enterprises um, to use a specific cloud or container environment. So they have the flexibility that goes even beyond. Charmed Qflow is already tested and validated on AI designed hardware, such as NVIDIA's DigiAxis, bringing users stable solutions where the entire ML lifecycle can be run. By now, I hope you're looking uh, to try it out. And if you would like to do this, you have more than one option. On one hand, you can do it yourself by going on our website and follow our tutorial simply by typing charm-qflow1.io. And on the other hand, you can also go on the AWS Marketplace, select Charm Qflow Appliance, and then go with the latest or stable version. And this is just an overview of what Charm Qflow 1.7 can do. You can learn more in our blog, and we are really encouraging you to share your feedback or raise any bug that you might have on our GitHub. If you would like to ship the next release, I think you can get involved in the upstream release team. They are recruiting right now.